important part of addressing cardiac arrest is, of course, all the work that's done once the ambulance gets you to the hospital, which, by the way, if you're having chest pains, don't drive yourself to the hospital. Get someone to drive you or call an ambulance. This is an actual thing that happens and it's dangerous to you and those around you. But once you get yourself to Chesapeake Regional Healthcare, you can be sure that you'll be in good hands. We saw proof of that recently during a drill at their chest pain center. Any shortness of breath? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. Alright, just hold tight. They'll be right with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, where's the hurt exactly? Oh. Hurt right in the center of my chest. Okay. Moves around a little bit. Okay. Do you have any family history of heart attacks or strokes? Um, my dad had a heart attack. Hey, Nick, can you go ahead and notify the hospital that we have a STEMI? Okay. It does look like you're having a, a heart attack, okay? We're going to get you to the hospital as soon as we can, all right? And it all begins with our EMS partners. Um, they identify the patient when the 911 call is dispatched, and it all begins with them. They send us the EKG. They initiate um, intravenous access so that um, upon arrival to the emergency department, our transition is seamless in ensuring we have proper pad placement, ensuring that we have them on our cardiac monitors, ensuring that medication are provided in a timely fashion according to our cardiologist direction. Um, and then we ensure that our um, catheterization team has been called and activated so that we have a smooth transition to our cath lab, which I'm currently standing in, um, because our door to balloon time is under 90 minutes. So we are doing everything we can to ensure a high um, success rate for all of our patients and our community. And, uh, there's a lot of advancements that have happened in the last 10 years in, in terms of catheterization and heart care. The majority of those advancements are to do with um, equipment uh, and also advancement in care of the sickest of the sick heart patients and avoiding surgery in, um, in many of the patients that you may have sent for surgery. Uh, for example, yesterday we had a patient uh, with uh, multiple blockages that were heavily calcified, which is like teeth and bone, would have normally gone for surgery, let's say 15 years ago. And today we can take care of that patient without having to go for open heart surgery. I think the most important thing in, in heart attack recognition is the patient. So community education is the most important thing. People recognizing, okay, I'm having a heart attack, or I could be having a heart attack, and calling 911.